hey guys welcome back to my channel it's marisa in today's video i am going to be doing a project inspired by my tree magic box unboxing from hexwag so let's get started with the project Hey guys, so I forgot, I realized I forgot to light my beautiful far switch candle. So I did an unboxing, one of my last unboxings from Hagswag. This was the Tree Magic box. And I do keep these boxes so I can like store other stuff in them. But if you want to see the original unboxing and everything I got, it was a really beautiful, beautiful box. This company is from Canada. And here is their website right there if you want to get the box for the for yourselves and check them out um, and I'll put the their website in the description anyway but I'm gonna link the video right there if you want to see the full unboxing but here is one of the items I got this beautiful tree of life wood burned um, altar tile and this is what inspired me now if you've been watching some of my latest videos, I have been very, very in tune with the forest. Um, if you saw my uh, beautiful forest in, uh, inspired handmade journal from Lisa from Sirius Hekka, I have been buying books about tree magic and the Oum, which is just filled with Celtic lore about the magic of trees i have been really in tune with that and it's been quite some time i've been in the forest i've was in the forest quite a bit as a kid um i used to go to camp every year and i would just get lost in there and be perfectly happy so because you know i haven't been in nature it's kind of hard of course with the pandemic and all other stuff and i live in the city i do a lot of trees in my neighborhood but I try and bring the feeling and the energy of the forest in my house. Anyway, and here comes, as usual, an ambulance that I, I swear to you, no ambulances until I picked up this phone and started recording. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous. Anyway, here are some of the things. I'm just going to go over real quick. I have my mat here. So this here is a wood piece. From the Dollar Tree that I painted and I sprayed a little kind of glittery stuff on it and um, yeah this was originally I used this for Christmas I was gonna use it for Christmas but instead I was like wait a second this is perfect for this project like couldn't be any more perfect right and over here I have a piece of paper that I cut to the shape of the tree the piece of wood I'm gonna put on the back this is actually from the packaging from Lisa from Sirius Hecka for my uh, journal, my forest journal. I wanted to incorporate this in this um, <clears throat> in this project. I was gonna, uh, so I'm gonna put it on the back. That's what I'm gonna start off with. Then I found these. I have so many dyes and papers and stuff that I bought over the last couple of years. I'm like, I need to go through my stash. So I found this beautiful set of dyes from Tonic Studios, and I already cut them out and I use some tonic studios um, uh, alcohol ink markers and watercolor markers and I made some beautiful branches and I use this very pretty gold marker on top of them if you could see the gold in there and you can see the little bits of green sparkle and then I also cut out some leaves and I did the same thing with alcohol ink markers and um, watercolor markers and I also added some gold right here yeah you could see that definitely so beautiful I love this I love the way that came out I also have my drawing so this is and it has a lot of beautiful gold because this is the tree of life. I use watercolors. I use watercolor pencils. I use watercolor markers and some alcohol inks, um, alcohol markers as well. 
and I really like the way this came out. So that is my drawing. So those are the elements. And then in one of my last videos, you saw me get this beautiful golden vine trim. I'm going to use some of that in my project. And also I am possibly going to use, yes, some more of the preserved forest moss. I have so much in here and I really love it. It's quite messy, but I love it. So that are, those are the elements <coughs> to my project. And so yeah, let's get started just putting this whole project together and I will be back. Okay guys, so I'm taking this sheet of paper that I cut out uh, this beautiful ivy paper and I'm taking some Mod Podge on this little sponge brush here and I'm just adding it and spreading it all over the wooden tree shape and I'm just adding a little bit more making sure everything is covered and now I'm going to place this beautiful ivy paper right on the wood and just pressing it down so it stays put Next, I put a little Mod Podge on this little twig here just to test it out. And I use this spray to spray the whole wooden piece to give it a little sparkle. So now I'm taking these two leaves that I used, um, some beautiful watercolor paper with alcohol inks and watercolors. And I'm just putting the Mod Podge right on the leaves, making sure they are fully covered and I am placing them down at the top of the tree. Just pressing it down and making a mess all over my nails. So now I'm taking the second leaf, doing the same thing. Making sure the leaves are covered with the Mod Podge. And now I'm just pressing down again, right next to the first set of leaves. The Mod Podge will dry clear. I'm just cleaning it up just a little bit. Next, I'm taking my beautiful Tree of Life drawing and again, taking some Mod Podge with a paintbrush and just making sure every little part is covered with the glue. Now I'm going to center this and cover up some of the leaves so the leaves are underneath my drawing of the Tree of Life. I'm just pressing down, making sure it's really stuck on there good. Next, I'm going to take the other two branches, put a little Mod Podge on there with a small paintbrush and I am going to place them underneath my drawing, like a little nest. Now I'm taking the second one, doing the same thing. And I'm going to cross that over the first one. Pressing down really, really hard, make sure it's stuck on there good. Next, I'm going to take this beautiful golden vine and I'm going to try it with the Mod Podge just to see if it works. It's really messy. It's getting all over my fingers and I don't know if it's going to stick, but we're going to try. So now I'm going to place it down underneath the branches so it's really not sticking like I thought but I just wanted to try it and it's kind of messy but that's okay so of course that didn't work so I'm gonna get my glue gun all right so we have the glue gun already heated up and I'm just putting a few dots of the glue and I'm going to clean up any of those glue strings that are left over after. 
just making sure this beautiful golden vine just stays put right at the base of the tree and right above the trunk. So now I'm gonna, I cut two small pieces of the vine. I'm gonna put it on either side of my drawing up on top, right next to the leaves. So now I'm taking the other piece of vine right there and I'm doing the same thing, taking my glue gun and making sure it stays put. Just a couple of dots and I'm going to clean up any of those glue strings afterwards. Now that is all nice and stuck on there and I am loving the way this looks so far. Next part and last is I'm taking a lot of glue at the base there, the trunk of the tree, and I'm going to take this preserved forest moss and just press it down right there as the last touch to my beautiful tree of life project. Hey guys, so I am back and it is all done. All the pieces are put together and now I have something beautiful to honor the forest right next to my beautiful forest themed beautiful journal from Lisa. I will always share this journal. I am just in love with it. Look at it. Um, nowhere near rivals this journal, but it is in honor of the forest. I am really in tune to the forest right now, inspired by my Hag Swag box and this beautiful tree, specifically the Tree of Life altar tile. And that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this project. This was a lot of fun to make. I'm having so many cool ideas, just kind of connecting uh, myself to the OM lore and the druid mysteries celtic tree magic i am all about that just the lushness of the forest just really really inspires me so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed today's video and my art project of course i have another art project coming up um that's gonna be like my it's gonna be like a full moon uh, I'm actually going to do a pour painting. I have not done that in a while. I'm going to add some resin pieces to it, so I'm excited about that. And I have a lot more boxes and a lot more to share with you guys. And that's it. So listen, guys, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and give me a big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.